What's up, YouTube? Jeff back again, and the Huawei situation just keeps getting crazier and crazier. It's been a very unfortunate week for Huawei. Yesterday, there was a little bit of good news, but today, things have gotten even worse, probably as bad as they possibly could, and I want to fill you guys in on the new details. Now, before I do that, I do want to recap sort of everything we've talked about so far. If you want to skip ahead, I'll have a time code down in the comments section. Uh, where you can skip ahead to the new info only if you're interested. Now, a couple days ago on Sunday, I posted this video about the fact that Huawei had lost the access to basically Google services for future phones and also Android updates. Um, that, of course, later we found they got a little bit of a reprieve. Huawei was actually giving a 90-day temporary license uh, by Google so they can continue supporting current devices um, basically giving security updates and things like Google Apps, Gmail, you know, etc. So if you have a current phone, like my Huawei P30 Pro right here, uh, you'll still be able to use all your Google Apps and things like that. Uh, and for the next 90 days, you'll also get security updates. But that also means you won't get things like Android Q in the future, um, platform updates, if this doesn't get resolved. So that's what happened on Sunday. They got the 90-day reprieve, as I said. Um, Google working with Huawei to try to get things sorted out. Then yesterday, I made a video talking about the fact that it's come to light through a couple of different sources in the Chinese media um, that Huawei CEO Richard Yu mentioned that they are working on their own mobile OS that might have Android compatibility and its own app store. I talked about App Gallery, the fact that Huawei's had that for a long time on their devices. Um, basically because there's other delivery methods other than the Play Store in China. Um, after I posted the video, it came to light and I pinned a couple of comments actually um, mentioning down here saying that it's actually the case that a couple of other sources say that the new OS isn't quite as close to ready as other people had originally claimed, um, which of course means that possibly it'd be difficult for Huawei to roll that out as soon as this year, which is when they might need to do it uh, for their next crop of devices. So that's where we stand now, Huawei looking to sort of build their own software ecosystem, perhaps instead of Android doing something, you know, their own, their own app delivery method. Still a lot of questions there, but things were looking a little bit better for them yesterday with that 90-day reprieve and then also the possibility of building their own OS. Well, this morning, some really, really, really bad news came out for Huawei yeah, that, that ARM has stopped all relationships with Huawei. Now, for those of you who aren't super technical, this is a little bit technical, but it's really important. Um, ARM is the company that makes the only chip architectures, that's hardware, um, which Android currently uses. Um, now, Huawei does build their own chips, of course, they build the Kirin chips, but without having the architecture license from ARM, they can't really do that. Basically, they license that technology from ARM which is a U.S. company using U.S. technologies, and then they build the Kirin chips themselves, optimize everything on top. So without having those particular things in place, Huawei can't build the Kirin chips as they know them right now. They'd have to come up with their own architecture from scratch. Um, that's going to be very difficult to do. Um, now, the article here, Android Police, this was mentioned by Forbes, a whole bunch of sources reporting this now that ARM has told their employees they have to stop business with Huawei. This is not going to affect the Kirin 985, which would probably be the processor coming to the Huawei Mate 30 Pro later this year. That's probably what would be planned to go in that device. So it wouldn't affect that. So technically, they could still launch that. But that basically gives them a year, maybe, uh, before the Huawei P40 Pro comes out to figure out, you know, what are they going to do for a flagship processor architecture? How they're going to work around this uh, if ARM does completely enforce this um, within in 90 days. We'll assume that they have the same 90-day little buffer period, but uh, after 90 days, if they can't work with Huawei any longer, this is going to make it very, very difficult for Huawei uh, to continue going forward. Uh, in my personal opinion, this is probably the biggest ban possible um, because of the fact that uh, we know that software is something they've been working on for a while, their own OS, their own app store, but making your own hardware architecture and things like that on short notice, you know, we have no indications they've been, you know, doing things independently from ARM. Um, working on that architecture is going to be an entirely different thing. 
So anyway, I will report this, of course, more if more news comes in. Um, hopefully things get better for Huawei. I hope we can find a resolution because I really, again, I love my P30 Pro and I love, you know, the technology. I love the competition. I love their cameras. I love what they've brought to Android. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this. Find me at Twitter, also Instagram at the links in the description. I appreciate you guys checking it out and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.